Hello there! Today, we're going to be surviving 300 days on Minecraft Hardcore! Also, this series is heavily inspired by Luke the Notable. If you don't know who he is, I recommend checking him out in the link in the description below. But here's a little thing that happened. To make it simple and fast, in the time of making the thumbnail for the surviving 200 days of Minecraft Hardcore video, I did the set time command and it reset the day counter. I'm just letting you know I didn't cheat, but that's a thing that happened. So with all that out of the way, let's get right into surviving 300 days of Minecraft Hardcore. The first thing we need to do is inventory management. Ah oh, yes, everybody's favorite task to do in Minecraft. Quite quickly, I am realizing I do not have any more space for all my stuff to sort it all out neatly, so there is not really that much room for inventory management. So the first thing we're gonna have to do, it looks like, is build ourselves at least some sort of a storage house. Now you are expecting me to probably say that building the storage system would be easy, and most of the time you would be right. But this time, I'm going with a challenge. I'm gonna try to build this storage system with blocks I don't normally use, like dirt, jungle logs, olsund, polished granite, diorite, etc. So this will definitely be a weird looking build, and hopefully be one of the best. I think I want the storage house here because it is right by our front door. I think the thing we need to do is flatten out this hill, and pretty much the hill so let's start dehilling that hill. This little hill went down quite fast actually and gave us a whole bunch extra dirt. Alrighty, so we have went over here and dehilled the hill. I left two blocks here sort of as a foundation for the storage house to maybe make it look a little bit better than sitting on flat ground, you know? Now we need to work out what shape we want the storage room to be, and I think it could probably take over this entire bit of land, and maybe we can have ourselves a little back patio here as well, because you know, who doesn't want a back patio? You know, I think this would be better in super fast build mode, so let's Let's hop right into there and start building. I think this storage house turned out pretty good to say the least. We went over and textured the walls a little bit by putting some different blocks inside the walls besides cobblestone and put some different blocks for the wooden struts. Is that the right words? I don't have any idea. And we also went over and built ourselves a somewhat old looking roof that would most certainly leak if it was actually in real life. But you know, other than that, it looks pretty decent to say the least. Alrighty. It is now the end of day 210, and we've gotten this house done, and I think it is ready to be used for storage. Now, it's not the best looking house in the world, but it should do the job for what I need. On day 211, I think we need to go over and light the world up, so let's make a whole bunch of torches and light the world up. And for the next several Minecraft days, I lit the world up like a Christmas tree. In California, in the fire season, the world is is now nicely lit up like a Christmas tree. Quite literally, there is lights everywhere. Also, currently we are on day 216. Also, I came over and harvested some crops because, you know, who doesn't like free emeralds from crops? On day 218, we are down here in the mines mining for some diamonds and coal because surprisingly I have run out of coal. Ooh, we found diamonds, everybody. The exact two of them. Now it is time to go over and make some chests for the storage house because I have run out of room for items. Either way, now we are on to day 228. By the way, for the last little while, I have been putting torches down in another side of our house, which is over there. Another thing is I have gotten the sorting done, at least for the most part. Also, this video is fast paced. The reason why is because I know you or at least someone out there does not like sitting through one hour videos, at least most of the time. So I am trying to make this video as short as possible for you. Either way though, we've gotten another field nicely lit up. You might be wondering why I'm doing this, and that reason is I completely missed my bridge. And the reason is, is because I don't like an aliving from mobs, and also I'd like to build a mob farm so I can get infinite gunpowder. Over some time, I have collected a whole bunch of crops, so I think it is time to try to get some emeralds out of them. Just in that little trading session, we've already 
got ourselves 44 emeralds, which is quite amazing. My melon farm is too slow, so I'm going to expand our good old melon farm, so I'm going to craft ourselves up a whole bunch of pistons. Day 233, I am just sitting around waiting for iron to melt because I am out of iron. I quickly realized to make power rails, you need gold, and I have no gold, so I am down here in the mines mining again. I must say, this was a pretty successful mining trip. We got a lot of diamonds and gold and more. We did pretty good down there in the mine. We've got ourselves a total of 64 and 24 diamonds and 23 emeralds. Also, now we are on to day 237. I got everything to make the melon farm, so let's make a melon farm. This is most likely the fastest time lapse ever on YouTube of building a melon farm in Minecraft 1.16.4. An 8 second time lapse later, we have gotten the melon farm done. There can be many rows of this because it is a tileable design. But currently there is one row because I don't think I need much more than this one row. But that most likely will change and I will end up building 15 or 20 more rows. Also, now we are on to day 241. I found some crying obsidian in a chest and got the achievement who is cutting onions. But there's one thing, I have had crying obsidian in my inventory before from a abandoned portal. So why am I getting the achievement now? Also, I got everything out of our old store room and into the new storage room and sorted out. I probably just made a bunch of people start yelling at their screens due to not wearing armor. On day 148, I went over and tore down our temporary enderman farm and also flattened out this hill that it was on. I think it's time to switch things up a bit so I have gotten ready and I think we're gonna be going into the nether and getting some wither skeleton skulls to fight the wither. Also, I'm bringing another totem of undying with me just in case. Guess what? More time lapses because you know why not but yeah we went over and got ourselves three wither skeleton skulls which is enough but we also went over and slightly unalived hundreds well not hundreds but about 50 wither skeletons in total now i am following a pixel rift tutorial on how to fight the wither without having to deal with all of its attacks and i highly recommend checking out his tutorial all right so this is basically what the setup is you go over and make a wither shape out of obsidian and it has to have enough space for you to stand under it and the tail of the wither which is this block right here would be right in the middle of the bottom of your end portal and now we just have to go over and get our soul sand where's my soul sand is it in here no it, it is not in there give me a second 12 soul sand that should do the job fun fact you can use soul soil for fighting the wither as well so now we should be ready to fight the wither and hopefully not unalive without further ado Let's go. And now we need to come down here. You cannot hear me at all right now. I'm aware of it. We need to come down here and do this right here and just slightly slay the wither because it's sitting right where we need it. But there we go, everybody. We did it. Another star. By the way, here's a little fun thing that happened when I was clearing out this area. There was a pond here, and now we just have floating grass. It hasn't broken itself because it needs to be updated to break. Either way, without further ado, let's craft this beacon. Just like so. Now we can just look at it and say it looks pretty because I have no iron to actually use this beacon or really any other spare ores to use it. Guess we have to go mining now. I would say this is a rather successful mining session. We got ourselves around one stack of diamonds and found a mob farm and also went over and chopped a whole bunch of trees down after that because I needed some wood. Alrighty, we are now on to 201 stack days, or in other words, 264 days in. And it's Christmas Eve, and now every single chest in this house turned green, and the two small ones turned red, so that's quite neat. Also, we got 40 blocks of iron, so I'm going to be putting them on my roof in a beacon form, and that's not enough for a full beacon. From day 265 all the way up to 271, I was down in the mines mining. And from that mining session, we got ourselves a whole bunch of cobblestone and three shulker boxes full of ores as well. In this mining session, I've gotten myself 495 bits of iron, a bit of gold, a bit of redstone, a whole bunch of coal and lapis, and a stack of 45 diamonds, and even more redstone and lapis and four emeralds. It's the day after Christmas, and all of the chests still look like Christmas. From day 200. 
272 all the way up to 291, I was building a mega mob farm. I am not sure where this mob farm came from, but I am following a Waddles tutorial on how to build it. I will link that tutorial down in the description below because it is a quite easy tutorial to follow. By the way, this is going to be a super efficient farm. Have I mentioned that? Because it is a very good farm. I built this on the Let's Play world and it gives me around one double chest of items per half an hour of AFK. Also, we used every bit of our cobblestone up, so we had to actually go mining to actually finish this. Also, from the big mining session we did, I still don't have enough blocks of iron or gold for a full entire beacon. In the time of building this farm, I was flying over here and my Elytria broke midair, and I fell down and went splat. Luckily, I had a totem of undying in my offhand, and I survived. Now I'm down to one extra totem, so I think I need to do a raid soon to make sure I don't run out of totems. Either way though, the farm is now done and mobs are falling out of it at a million miles an hour. I would say that is pretty decent, I just got the farm done about 5 minutes ago and cleared the chest out. It's running creepers and more mobs. I finally made myself a full beacon and I ran out of iron so I used some gold and diamonds and it looks quite neat to say the least. I have never used diamonds for a beacon but without further ado let's get haste to. Hooray we can instant mine stuff now. It's quite nice if you're digging out a big area. We are now on the end of day 294 and I think I know what we want to do and that is go back into the nether and try to get ourselves another wither skeleton skull, to be exact, three of them. Because I want to fight the wither again, so we can get a regeneration beacon as well. Here is a short, voiceless time lapse of me unaliving wither skeletons. I, I thought it sounded quite weird, so I'm leaving it voiceless for you. <laughs> Yeah. Weird sounding or not, we got ourselves a Wither Skeleton Skull. But we didn't just get one Wither Skeleton Skull, we got two. I'm just kidding, we got three. I'm just kidding again, we got four. I'm just kidding again, we got five. <sighs> l l just look at the thing in my hand. We got six. We have six Wither Skeleton Skulls from that one go. So I think it is time to head to the end and get these Wither Skeleton Skulls turned into Withers. And get ourselves a two more beacons. That sounded rather weird again. Also, while I am here in the end, I might as well repair our tools as well. Okay, I think we are done making weird noises for this episode. I hope. Alright, let's real quickly craft up two beacons. Boom. Now we could just sit here and look at them and wish we could use them because I don't have enough materials to get them working. The rest of day 298, I was farming. On day 299, I went and traded the crops I gathered with a villager. Not bad, 43 emeralds. Now with the last bit of daylight we have left on day 299, I'm going to go over and start making our 300 sun. Alright, I've gotten the 300 sign done. It's right in front of the mob farm, or right on top of all the other milestone signs. And I built this one out of lapis lazuli blocks and redstone blocks to add some extra spice to it. Also, I'm trying to make each milestone sign look progressively better than the last milestone sign. For example, 100 days, we didn't really have that much, so I built it out of cobblestone. 200 days, we went to the end and fought the ender dragon so I built that one out of endstone and then 300 days we did a bunch of mining and got quite overpowered beyond what I was on the 200 day video so I made the sign out of pretty expensive blocks but with that being said as you see here it says day 99 or if you don't count the mistake is currently day 299 so without further ado let's hop into bed and get on to day 300 by the way we got a beaconator uh, war because we got a full beacon, so that's fun. But we are now on to day 
300, and I think we did a pretty good job this episode. Here's the quickest recap possible of what we did. We built that storage shed, we went mining, we fought the wither, and we built a big tower in the sky that makes mobs. Also, this video took quite a long time to make, so if you could leave a like, that would help out the video quite a bit, and I would appreciate it. Thank you very much if you did press the button. Also, if you don't want to miss any more videos like this from me, I do recommend subscribing as well. It's free, and you can easily do it if you want. But currently, I am just saying what every single YouTuber have said at least one time on YouTube. Which also would be, if you can, it would help the video out quite a bit if you do share it with someone. Either way, though, thank you very much for watching. This was a blast to make this video. Take it easy. This has been Locke, and I am out of here. I just gotta check this real quickly here. How much did we get from our mob farm? Let's, let's just check this out. Uh, oh my! Yeah, that, that is a lot. Alright, I mean, I went AFK for about 10 minutes in total, and I would not count in all the other stuff I've done around here, uh, and yeah, that, that, that's, that's pretty good, that, that, that is actually pretty good. Alright, thanks for watching, take it easy, this has been a lot, oh dear, and I am out of here, I just broke my ankles. Alright, goodbye. Also, here is a special thank you to our channel members, Ren Schultz, Master Commander, Rip Avanox, and Izan. Thank you very much for being a channel member. Also, a special thank you to Ren Schultz for being the first ever member of the channel.